There used to be a joke in my college. My friends often used to make jokes of me saying that there are two things which really uh, makes me turn my head around. And uh, those two words are biotechnica and research. So, of course, I chose the biotechnica path, but biotechnica somehow is very close to research. It is uh, helping a lot of students to do re- research. So many professionals are uh, working at biotechnica who are, who are doing research. And uh, that's why today's video. And today we are going to talk about top 25 emerging fields in biology, which is going to explode in the future. Now, why you should be knowing this is because the whole world of biology revolves around research, right? So, research is actually a very funny thing if you look at it from a different perspective. We feel that research is about, okay, career going into a lab and working. But if research doesn't happen, then most of the medicines won't exist. Most of the solutions which are there in the world won't exist right the funny fact the fun fact about research is most people take researchers and scientists uh, not so seriously they think that okay some some guy who is doing some something in a lab right but the people who spend hours in the lab make things happen outside the world right let's talk about all the vaccines a small child gets as soon as he or she is born right all those vaccines somebody worked in the lab right Let's talk about dengue, chicken gunia, or any other life-threatening disease which is existing in today's world. Or, for example, which was eliminated, polio. We could do it because of research, right? So research is one single word which is creating a revolution across the globe. But people don't take it seriously. But um, that's a debate for some other day. But today we are talking about top 25 research where everybody will take it seriously, by the way. Now, uh, I recently came about... um, uh, topic which is very interesting and it's about bending reality so when you look look at bending reality mostly uh, physics is where we say that okay the time space continuum right but have you observed that biology itself is bending reality right our photoreceptor cells in our eyes are helping us uh, see the world we are able to bend reality Uh, many people who could not see can see today right so it's the reality is being bent for them right so there are multiple things the more research we do in biology the more reality we can bend for so many people somebody who is going to die and will now survive somebody who is uh, suffering from heart disease no longer has that right so we have so much available in the world today thanks to research right so i'm here to support research i'm here to nurture all those researchers who want to grow so let's start with the top 25 list the first thing obviously in my mind today is molecular biology so molecular biology is one of the core subjects and a lot of research is happening as of today we see the gene editing and crispr based technologies for genetic diseases and traits improvement happening as we speak so we have a lot of people a lot of people getting into this. So CRISPR and uh, gene editing research is one such uh, place where you should be. The next which we have is synthetic biology. So synthetic biology is all about creating new materials like biofuels or lab-grown meat. Something which doesn't exist in nature, but we can create it. Now, synthetic biology is um, you know, more about creating products which don't exist but we can create and bend reality for example plant-based meat or lab-grown meat so now uh, people who are non-vegetarians okay if they don't want to eat the or they don't want to kill a organism to eat meat why not create it inside the lab so again that's a humane way of doing things right so that's about the second field third field which i have for you is gene and cell therapies if you look at cancers, the rare disorders and autoimmune diseases. Recently, the um, Immunology Nobel Prize was won by someone because of immunology, right? So Nobel Prize 
is one of the more leading uh, you know prizes which is given in the world of stem which is science technology education mathematics so and we saw the nobel prize being given to immunologist so that's where you can uh, treat cancer autoimmune disease rare diseases all of that that's a really amazing field and you can get in there the next research area which you where you can make your career is personalized research or personalized medicine now uh just today uh, one of my colleague had headache so i gave a paracetamol right now every person responds to paracetamol in a different way or for that matter any medicine right so personalized medicine is the need there and how do you do that because of ngs now it is cheaper to do genomic sequencing and now that we can do genomic sequencing and we have so many of bioinformaticians who are ready to use ai ml and uh, you know utilize that so we we can have a multi omics approach to personalized medicine and that is my dear friend a revolutionary trend and you can make a lot of money there as well the next and most in- impactful research which is happening as of today is artificial intelligence and machine learning in drug discovery diagnostics and protein design now let's look at a disease from a third party perspective what exactly is a disease in our body something which is not normal something which is causing pain or any kind of slightly elevated temperature or any any kind of abnormality in the body right so why exactly it happens it always happens inside the cell and it always happens inside the uh, cell organelles right so what if we could analyze that right what if we could analyze what's happening and we could understand which receptors are available and whether my drug will go and bind or not without even trying that in real life with any of the organisms we can straight away use our body clones digital body clone siemens is creating that and we can utilize that to test if it is going to work or not so we can learn drug discovery diagnostics now let's go to diagnostics if we can detect a breast cancer early we can prevent it right so uh, now coming to protein design most of the diseases happen because of protein faulty proteins what if we could design proteins which could fix that what if we could have the mrna platform so that's where we have the ai ml that is artificial intelligence machine learning a very emerging field highly emerging field a lot of potential in uh, the next 5 years for ai ml now the next one which i have for you is 3d printing now 3d printing and bio tissue printing you must have heard of it in fact the other day i was uh, talking to one of the researchers i said why don't we print the organ and um, you know uh, transplant it he said that there there are a lot of uh, immun- immunology related reactions i said why can't we grow the organ inside the body and uh, 3d printers can help us do that a lot can be done so 3d bioprinting and tissue engineering for regenerative medicine and organ replacement is already here there are a lot of startups in bangalore also which are doing that so yes of course you can get into that as well now moving forward we have microbiome research now i'm sure you've heard of it it is uh, being u- utilized in health disease agriculture bioremediation and we we are looking at the uh, microbiome gut axis right so microbiota is the trend buzzing trend and we can utilize it to improve one's health treat diseases improve agricultural produce and of course um, bioremediation is one big problem which we can solve so of course that is where microbiome research is happening then the next one is of course in vaccine the mrna platform the popular the famous mrna platform which we built during covid-19 vaccine time by moderna so rna based therapeutics including mrna vaccines for cancer and metabolic diseases is going to be a revolutionary trend of the future you can learn that as well now let's talk about some interesting and important um, other uh, fields which you can be interested in so if you are someone who can develop uh, softwares in for the biotech industry so that's where you can get into lab automation and high throughput technologies which uh, you can make it faster and more reproducible and uh, that's where lab automation comes into picture then also you can get into sustainability in biotech such as biodegradable material uh, carbon capture compounds eco friendly labs and many other things so that's about 
the top uh, 10 now we'll go to the next and this these next is going to explode in the next seven years actually and we call it as a emerging fields right so what we are seeing as of today is there are three things happening at the same time okay so one is AIML another is um, bioinformatics and the third is quantum computing the quantum computing is coming into place just yesterday I saw we have now a quantum computer which can operate at room temperature with 64 qubits. Do you recall a few years ago or a few decades ago, we had same problem with computers also, right? So now we have quantum computers with higher computational power. And of course, biology needs a lot of computational power. So we are looking at biocomputing and quantum computing uh, applications. Then we have stem cells uh, going to explore regenerative medicine, disease modeling. You can do a lot of research there as well. See, whether you get into this field or not, it's important to know because the moment you see a project related to this, you can jump in and learn. Okay, So stem cells is one uh, area. Epigenetics, um, to understand the gene regulation, inheritance and diseases. Then biocomputing and data science to integrate biological data for predictive insights. There's an another interesting fact about storing data into the DNA when you can get there. There are a lot of startups working in that direction also. Then we have NGS technology for genomics and diagnostics, and that is a good field. Then cellular ag agriculture for sustainable food production and cultured meat. Uh, or dairy then we are looking at biomanufacturing leverage uh, for engineered organisms for chemicals and therapeutics then we also have plant-based um, or cell-based alternative protein production uh, the protein industry is exploding you can get in there nutrition and nutraceutical and protein engineering is one area de-extension science so that we can bring back the organisms which got extinct back into our world that is also a very interesting field uh, we recently had a wolf being you know born back re-engineered back then uh, one of the biggest uh, challenges which we have is cancer so cancer immunotherapy uh, research is something you can do neuroscience uh, is one area where you can a lot of funding is coming in to organ uh, organizations brain computer interface is one area where you can get in Climate change biology is one interesting area where you should uh, try your luck if you are interested. Astrobiology is as NASA moves to Moon and Mars, we, we are going to need more biologists in NASA. So you can do PhD in astrobiology and get there. Then we have prion biology in atypical protein folding uh, diseases. Even that is something you can work on. Epidemiology, infectious diseases, dynamics and pandemic preparedness, all of that you can get in so now the question is how can you get into these research areas now most people tell you that okay these are the research areas okay go and do research see there are three steps three easy steps after your bachelor's or master's to get into any of this you don't have to even do a phd if you do a phd fair enough now the first thing is you have to decide what's your passion okay if you make your passion your profession that is going to help okay so choose out of whatever I told you. Let me know in the comment section, which one is your passion. I'll make a detailed video about that. So choose your passion. Then take something which is going to be in trend. So of course, I told you the trend. You take something out of these, which will be in the trend. Okay. And now see which are the startups, not the established companies, which are the startups working in this direction. Right. Do internship there. If you're not getting anywhere, come to Biotechnica. I'll uh, train you while providing the internship right and then do some projects right so the first step would be of course find your passion the second step would be if, if the technology is going to trend that you've done the third is a startup three steps done the fourth one do a project gain experience and now apply into these startups get a job okay now one interesting thing which i have seen is most freshers give up too easily right don't See, I'm sitting here for the last 19 years, right? Did I give up? I didn't, right? So the essence of winning is when you don't give up. How do you don't give up? You just try. Just keep trying, keep focusing and learning new things. Don't think that, okay, um, this is what I wanted to do, but there are some roadblocks, so okay, I have to quit. No. Family situations, circumstances, cities the city where you were born in and the city where you want to work all of this cannot be the roadblocks see these are natural roadblocks you you were born in a wrong city not your mistake right 
you didn't find a mentor not a mistake right not your mistake right you you were born probably in the wrong country not your mistake but you can always correct it there will always be financial problems you ask somebody who is a 40 year old or a 20 year old he will always say i have a financial problem right financial problems cannot dictate your destiny okay we have watson scholarship come take it and learn right at this juncture you have energy 60 years from today or say 40 years from today you won't have that energy right that time you can't do that right that's exactly the logic i gave myself 19 years ago right But why not do it now because now i have energy i am young later on it will be too late so decide what you, what you want to do let me know in the comment section and then let's work in that direction right my aim here is to not just show you the path see anybody can show you the path on youtube my aim here is to walk with you on that path to help you succeed because tomorrow in if any distant um, conference or any uh, place we meet i want to listen from you when you will say that how biotechnica changed your life how biotechnica helped you change the direction of your career and now you're successful so i i know this this has happened to many of my subscribers by the way i have gone to so many conferences i go and people come to me and say sir i became a scientist because i watched your video and then i did this and now i'm a scientist many people do that right so the choice is yours today you want to give up how do you want to choose from any of these 25 thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then take care bye bye